And it's time for more Nancy Drew, the deadly device. We are ready to have a longer conversation here with our friend Elle. Or Ellie. Forget something? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of questions asked her, and I didn't want to have that last video go on for like an hour. So here we are back. I also get the impression Mason doesn't like you very much. Now that is fortunate. If I had to deal with him puppy-dogging all around all the time, I'd never get anything done. Why were you spending time with Mason? I thought you two didn't get along. We have to meet up to coordinate experiments once in a while. You and Mason are working on a project together. Something secret. You're wrong. Then you won't mind if I tell Victor what you're up to? You'd be smart not to. He doesn't have patience for people stirring up the bottom of a river that's best kept still. Okay. After Nico died, you left for a while. That's true. Where did you go? Home. You mean back to where you grew up? Of course. I wouldn't call Colorado home. Why not? Between you and me, I'm looking to get out of here as soon as possible. Why? Even if what happened to Nico never happened, Colorado never welcomed me with open arms. Okay. Why do you think that is? I honestly don't know. Hmm. Wow, so many questions I don't even know where to begin. Can you walk me through what happened the night Nico died? This isn't something I should talk to you about. Okay, so... I know, but my boss would really like to know. Look, it was a hard night for me. I'd like to keep it in my rear view. According to the police report, Nico had been dead for 30 minutes before you called 911. What happened? I tried, but the phones were out. What about your cell phone? I must have left it at home that night. Hmm. Interesting. This card I found, according to the record, it's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. What do you mean? It's in the log. That was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab, Nico. Right. Well, actually, no, because we found the real video log. I don't know. I'm not even sure if I should. Is this your card? Nope. Mason said it isn't his either. Then it must just be an extra. Okay. What were you doing with Nico's things? How did you find those? So you were hiding them? Stay out of my things, <laughs> hun. You don't know what you're messing with. Hun? I'm not your hun. Alright, I'm not sure how aggressive I should be with her. Just yet. You never said why you hid some of Nico's work. I'm not supposed to have them, but I see you get that. If you have to ask why I'd go out of my way to understand how someone like Nico thought, then you obviously don't realize what a big deal he is. That, and he wanted to keep them from Mason. He hated Mason. Did he say why? Honey, would you ask anyone to explain why they hate Mason? <laughs> okay. But, but, Mason's adorable. Did you think Nico's work was important? Not was. Is. Important enough to kill for? Yes. More than once. Whoa. What do you mean by that? Look around. Life isn't just life anymore. It's plugged in all the time. People live in this weird dream world of their own creation. We're running out of power, and fast. Imagine the jolt when we all wake up together. Nico cracked it. A way to harvest the electricity that's already there all around us. Or 
So I heard. I never saw his work. His work is so important, it can't be measured in money. It's pure power. Economic, political, military, and literal power beyond measure. Wars have been fought for far less. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. If you don't like the work, why are you still here? I don't know. Growing up, everyone had these high expectations that I'd go out and make something big of myself. What no one knew was, much as my mind loved the inside of a book, my heart loved nothing more than being with my family, especially my cousin Rachel. My Graham used to say the two of us put a little extra spin on the world. Rachel was my best friend, and I'd give all I've got to go back to those days. But I was told to go and fulfill my potential, and I did. You could always just go back home. Funny. Everyone always says the opposite. We weren't rich, and school wasn't cheap. I took out some big loans that my gram put up the farm for. Can't make the money I need back home in the sticks. Oh. It's not all bad. I get to do my part in making the world a better place. That's a happy thought I can take to my pillow each night. <laughs> okay. When you left, I understand you took all of your work with you. It's my work. I need to keep it safe. Did you bring all of it back? Of course I did. What made you decide to come back? The police. Did they force you to come back? They were persuasive. I don't know if they were going to force me back. And I really didn't want to find out. Okay, so I'm not actually going to ask this question because I'm a little hesitant. Uh, actually, you know what I'll do? Let's go ahead and save it. Oh, I mean, I'm curious if I know what the answer is, but I don't want to wreck the game either. You and Mason were smuggling work out. Don't use that tone. You have to understand, Mason and I put our lives into that work. Nico wanted to give it away. That I can live with. Victor wants to sell it. If anyone is going to sell my work, it's going to be me. Okay, that didn't turn out as bad as I I'd thought. better get going. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, be all nice to me now. All right, let's go see where it rhymes up to. I have, uh, I'm not sure if I've got all of the cat parts. Oh yeah, it's nighttime, I forgot. All right, well, let's go talk to Gray, and then we'll sleep for the night. That was a long conversation with Elle. Or Ellie. Is it Elle or Ellie? Ellie. Go with that. Of course, I'll probably say Elle at some point. All right, let's check in on our security friend. Hi there. What do you want? Is there any reason you would have entered the lab right before Nico died? No, enough. No more questions. Why won't you leave it alone? Because someone killed Nico. I want to know who. Why? What do you mean, why? No one deserves that. Whoever did it should be locked up. Or worse. What's someone with a PhD doing working in security? There's nothing wrong with what I do. I didn't say there was. It just seems like you could do something more in line with your schooling. I like what I do. No one respects real work anymore. Okay. Can you explain these emails? Depends. Can you explain what you're doing with confidential information? I found it. Answer my question. Mm, don't want to. <laughs> Get out! Wow, alright, well, we're making friends all over the place. Nancy is definitely quite the charmer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sleep for the night here and talk to Ryan in the morning. Alright, let's go find out where Ryan's up to. And maybe we'll talk to Mason as well confront him too. Nancy definitely has a knack for being confrontational in a sweet way. Alright, so let's go have a look see here. Hello? 
What's up? I better get going. Really? Later. You got nothing for me? Well, that was quick. Bye. Later. Later. Oh, shoot. Thought she might have something for me. Shredded page. Do I have all the bits or am I missing them? Well, I have all the bits, so do I just go here and build it? Yeah, maybe I do. Hmm. Oh, I need a tail. Aha, we made it. Okay, so I made a cat. <laughs> now what? It purrs when I pet it. Does that enough What's to that? spark you? I'll let you go. No. Bye. All right. Well, I guess I'll leave the cat there. Let's go find out what our friend Mason is up to. Yes. Ellie said this card wasn't hers. That's fascinating. Tell me more facts about the card. Fine. It's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. That can't be right. It's in the log. That was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab. Yeah, 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 that's what she said. I'll let you go. Goodbye. All right, who else can I talk to now? Um, let me see here. I guess I should go to the lab. Oh, someone's calling me. Ned, I just left the top secret present at your place. It will be waiting in River Heights on your return. Oh, he's adorable. Uh... Hmm. Nothing in there yet. It does look like an egg there, doesn't it? I think I've gotten... Is there only one egg that I've gotten? Huh. Thought I'd gotten more. Where... Didn't I pick something out of here? No files in queue. So I need a new file, that's for sure. So how am I supposed to do this now? Um, shredded page. Where was the computer for this? Oh, I'm going to have to do it at night. When Mason's not around. Doesn't look like I can do anything here. Still have to... Haven't done that. Alrighty then. Should I go sleep another night away? We'll try to talk to our friends one more time and then uh, I guess we'll sleep another night. I'm trying to trigger something, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what I'm trying to trigger. Major darn cat. What's up? I better get going. Later. Later indeed. Did I not listen to Nico's diary number two? Oh yeah, I've got number one as well. All right, let's go see what Mason has to say. I've built his cat. Does he care? Um. Yes. No, he doesn't. I not better care. get going. See you later. He does not care. What are you doing? Oh, relax, relax, relax. What are you doing? Alright, let's uh, 
I guess sleep another night away. I'm trying to trigger something. Alright, let's see here. Uh, go to security maybe? Or not? Is she gonna let me add his computer? This could be bad. I was just thinking Ellie might not let me in here. Hi. I'll let you go. Bye. Oh no. Oh no, she doesn't care. <laughs> Sorry. Just had to be done. No, I don't want this. Crap. I don't want that. Alright, so where do I get this from? I don't even know what to do here. I mean, it's cool and all, but I don't know what to do. Hmm. Okay, we're back, and I had to run around on camera for maybe 15 or 20 minutes to try to figure out what the hell I was missing. I got stuck and I looked it up online and apparently Ryan was supposed to give me some sort of design for this computer system here. So we're just going to go and do one more quick sleep here and uh, if Ryan doesn't give us the design, which I have a feeling that she isn't, that's, I'm not sure when I was supposed to get the design, it never seemed to come up or I must have missed it, I don't know. But she doesn't have any kind of questions that lets me sort of ask about it, so it was a try one more sleep, and then if not, then we're gonna have to uh, deal with that situation in its own way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set today, and maybe I'm not sure what it is I need to trigger her to give me that design, but uh, she hasn't given it to me, or I don't think she has. And I'll do a quick check on my inventory as well, but. Uh, we have to do the program at night when Mason's not around, for starters. So flipping back and forth from day to night just to get the right people in the right spot. It's kind of an interesting little mechanic. So I built the cat. And now you know what the hell am I supposed to do with this thing. Come on, I need my control back. Yeah, so I build a cat and Ryan does not What's care. That? Yeah, so, okay. Goodbye. Bye. So Ryan is clearly not going to help me out here. So if I look at my inventory, I've got the egg, electronics, evidence. I've got a card, beaker, solutions, diary, circuit, notebook, another diary, capacitors. We know what those are for. Unknown card and shredded page. Alright, so I do not have this 3D diagram. So this is going to be interesting. I don't even know if this is going to work. I might have broken the game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't quite know what else to trigger. This reminds me of Captive Curse when uh, there was a moment there where I had to walk around for like half an hour to get uh, the dude there to call me. And that was a pain. Um, oh, I keep going to the lab instead of going to the lounge area here. So I know that this knob goes here. Now I can hmm. heat something up. I don't know what I gotta heat up. Oh, I guess I could put the beaker on there. But I don't know what needs to go in it. Anyways, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sleep. this today and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with this I'm not sure 
if I do make the design without getting the, the uh, code from uh, Ryan, how does that impact the game? We'll find out. I'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't impact the game, but who knows. Alright, so Mason should not be at his desk. So go this way. So we're gonna go ahead and off oh, shoot. Hey, you look a little upset. Someone moved my <laughs> things. Someone will pay. Was me. I better get going. Goodbye. All right. So what have I done? I've totally screwed myself over because. I think I had the right time of day. Ugh. Or maybe I just hit day twice. You know how it goes. Just having one of those rough recording sessions here. It's hard. This Sometimes you get stuck and you struggle with it. Alright, so I need night time. There we go. All right, now let's go and deal with this issue. Yeah, I mean, with this being a non-linear game, it's hard for the developers, I guess, to think of every possible iteration. And that's usually, for me, a good sign of a well-developed game, is when it can count for uh, people doing it wrong, basically. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing going here. And I uh, will put the design in that we need to do. And then we'll print it, and we'll go downstairs and we'll activate it, and then that'll do it for this episode. And what I'll probably do is just sleep a couple times off camera just to get this thing to, to work. So let's just double check this here, I don't want to screw this up. And everyone cross your fingers, and hopefully this does actually work, and I'm not uh, wasting my time doing this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to replay a good chunk of the game. I'll have to find the right save, and load it, and figure out when I'm supposed to get the friggin' thing from Ryan. Like, I don't know. Definitely not an appetizing option. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. That's the nature of recording actual games with story and not recording games with no story. Sometimes you gotta replay the entire thing. It happened to me once. I was playing a casual game, four hour game, and I ran out of hard drive space. So it missed the last minute, closing minute of the game with the cutscene and all that good stuff. And yeah. So I had to replay four hours of game. Okay, folks, so that's where I'm going to stop. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching you all. Thanks for watching you all. Thanks for watching all of you, and we'll talk to you soon.